Hello Internet, Kirby Mine here, and today we are going to be looking at Volley Bear in the jungle. Um, we will be taking him to top in a later episode, since I've been playing tanks lately. He is a character that I tried when he first came out, maybe two games. They went very, very bad because I was terrible at him. And since I've come back to League lately, about four years of not playing, came back, uh, decided to pick up a couple of the different tanks and retry volley. I have three games under my belt, and all three games went extremely well. Don't know what it is, but I really enjoy this character. He is a interesting tank. He doesn't have the crowd control that a lot of the other tanks have. But what he does have is damage. He is a terrifying tank as far as damage goes without really building him for too much damage. Um, he has a really powerful execute and attack speed buff with his W, which I max first. He has an E, which slows. And then he has a nice little speed boost. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, Rolling Thunder, I hate this move most of the time because a lot of people that I've played with just use it and throw the enemy whichever way. If you're going to use it and you're chasing down somebody, don't just use it and just try to hit them. Get to an angle and then use it so that you can throw them where you want. Speaking of which, let's go get the art jungle going. As you can see, as I get my three stacks, I get a nice little attack speed boost. Only team giving us a nice little, um, a nice um, leash here. Gonna come over here. Nice, another nice thing. Volley doesn't take too too much damage because he does have a fear. Go ahead and turn on that Thona music. Pop a potion. See if we can preserve our passive a little bit. Uh, his passive is on a 2 minute cooldown, and he heals by 30% of his maximum health over 6 seconds. I don't know if it's been changed since I used to play, but it was quite funny when he came out. So many times people would try to get him low, think they have him, and then he would just get his passive going. You'll probably see that pop in a moment, which is fine. Not planning on using it right now for a gank, so that little bit of extra health in the jungle is always nice. You can see it just rolls on in. We will be going up against a mostly AD team. We're going to pick up our Rolling Thunder. Allow us to get, just get through the jungle a little bit faster. About to get our second charge of Smite, so we'll probably go ahead and burn one right now. We did have our red stolen, unfortunately. Who's their jungle? Ye, you douchebag. Burn that here. It's okay. You have a Yaz and Camille up top, two characters I find to be very terrifying. Probably should not dive the Camille just because of her ult at level 6. If you don't know, when she ults you, she creates a ring that you cannot leave. Yaz does unfortunately die. Uh, we might be able to come sneak up there and get a Camille kill. Even up the team. I wouldn't mind burning a flash for that. Get a nice little. Uh oh. Oh no. You have been slain. Wow. How did she outmove us? Oh, yes, yeah, not gonna be happy. That was our bad. Battle is in my blood. That's alright. I'm really much better late game, anyways. Uh, like I said, only three games. I still don't really know the 
the um, play this E really, really trying to get under my skin. He takes my red, he mocks me. I have to do my best not to lose this game just because of him. Anyways, um, yeah, I really don't know the the limitations of this character. I know if I would have had the jungle item before I went in, I would have uh, been able to smite her. Now Camille does have a shield that pops every so often based on the, the main type of damage of a character. So I know if she didn't have that shield we would have been able to get her down. I never really fight against Camille neither because my buddy always uh, bans her because she has such a chase potential. She can just jump you from such a far you know, distance. All the lanes are unfortunately pushed, so I mean, all we really can do right now is work through our jungle. And unfortunately, we don't have much mana, so we're gonna have to take a break pretty soon and grab some berries. Oh, we do have some pushing going on over here. Burn our smite. Nah, we're not gonna make it in the time. An enemy has been slain. Kind of stand over here. Keep the enemy team from pushing in too much. Don't want to get hooked by Thresh. That's probably what happened down here. Uh, Volibear is pretty good at keeping minions from doing damage because he has that. Come over here, see if it's like they have this E has been all over the map. To war. Uh, probably could set up a gank for middle. This game not going too well. Nope, not even worth going over there. Avoid that poke. We do have our ultimate. Now Volibear, this is one of the things I was telling you about with his damage. He has a, a very weird ult. Um Instead of having a tanking ult that just reduces damage or CCs, his ult actually, um, it's AoE damage. His auto attacks uh, do lightning bolts that bounce. Um, it's a lot of damage. If the longer the fight goes on, it's over uh, 12 seconds. Which, in League, that is an eternity it feels like. So you pick up uh, a flame item, does fire around you. You pick up, um, you pick up a, um, just you know, you get a lot of AOE damage going around you. Sorry, I'm trying to see where the friendly team is. See if I can spot that Yi on the mini map, but it looks like he's probably not going to show until it's too late. Yeah, it's pushing. He's asking for it. Bottom upset still because. Oh, good job, yes. Guess one overpowered character against another. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and help bottom out. Pick our blue so we have the mana for it. See if we can get a nice gank going in. Okay, that would be one down. Just got to attack these minions, getting that damage as you can see bouncing around. He does take down Yasuo again. Oh, but he does actually get the kill there too. 
We know he's a uh, he's dead, so. Is that a challenge? Unfortunately, we don't have our flip again. But we cause uh, two summoner spells to be popped. So. Let's see if I can get them to help me kill Dragon. Volley is not the greatest Dragon killer. Looks like we're gonna have lots of help. Humberdinger can set up some turrets. We do have Smite ready for this. Uh, looks like only Heimerdinger is going to help. Don't look like they're going to come in. So we know we have to execute at 500 health. Fresh does hook a turret. That's coming. That's that smite up. Get an Italy poke there at the end. Enemy double kill. An ally has been slain. And unfortunately, this is one of the problems with quick matches. could have went over there the team with the AD, we could have cleaned it up nice and fast. See, if we would have went over there when I pinged, we would have been able to get the dragon no, no contest. But again, I don't have the damage for that. We're going to come back over here. Pop our ult. And unfortunately, we're going to die to the Fedgy. gonna be one of those games. Uh, let's check out the damage types. Yep, he's doing his traditional attack speed. We are going to build ourselves a Ninja Tabby, try to keep our tankiness up. An enemy has been slain. Yeah, he is at four, she's at three. Has been slain. Hummerdinger, I guess, not doing too well. Let's see how top's doing. Yeah, the four and four, evening out, boy. We got a 3-3 three three up top. So all in all, way more gold on the other team. Now, as the game continues to go on, we will hit a point where we'll be able to tank up that damage. I do find Volley's early game tankiness a little bit lighter. Buddy Mine says that he finds Volley stronger early game. And it's just difference in playstyle. Nidalee's gonna be so hard to capture if we try. I think we'll go help get Yaz fed a little bit more. Uh, I meant to ping and I hit my blink. Somebody needs to go down and stop that Yi. <clears throat> that is a free Rift Herald right there. 
God, that heats damage though. Cool skin on him, like the sword. This is gonna be a late. If we win this game, it's gonna be require late game. Enemy has been slain. We are rather behind right now. As you can see, finishing up RW, the attack speed on volley gets to be pretty good for a tank. Almost getting a kill. Yetho is doing quite well up top. That's one dead Heimerdinger there. He does end up getting a kill. And yeah, we're not gonna catch it. Ye. Go in, grab our blues. Has destroyed a turret. Yeah, it's cleaning up top. Blue is gone again. Now, I don't play, I don't say I am really good at this game. I can play decent. I probably spent a lot more time in Heroes, but I used to play this game a lot back in the day. Might be able to set up our team. Battle is in my blood. Uh, we cannot let them get this dragon. I don't know why somebody would attack that bush. <laughs> yeah, it's just getting completely wrecked. We do not need to go into that. Uh, Harold doing nothing, as we did take care of it in CC fairly well. Timer Dinger in his turret. We might be able to set up a kill on. Not the person I really want to go after. There's my Yi. We do have our all, and we are ready for him. We are going to. Finish him with our chomp. Second kill, and unfortunately, Sona backed up and wasn't able to provide us a little bit of extra help, but we did get two for three. Not the best, but we are starting to pull back into this game. Grab our ninja tabbies. I uh, think we'll go ahead and work on. Uh, Dead Man's. I like this just for the movement speed and the initial burst of damage it provides. Just make the volley bear, uh, like when you jump on him, that much stronger. We're gonna have to go and unfortunately put a uh, ward down by Dragon. This is an important Dragon. Uh, one of the problems with volley bear. He cannot solo dragon very well, while Yi could go in there and clear that dragon up very, very fast. Speaking of Yi, he does get the dragon, and uh, we might have two kills here. Don't know why they're pinging to back. To get the bite off on Yi, we do go down. Heimerdinger trying to get in there. He does make it in there. Don't know if he's gonna be able to catch that Nidalee. Enemy double kill. Nidalee just running in circles. We do have Yaz coming in to try to cut her off.
And yep, that's one free Nidalee. Trust your instincts. Go ahead and pick up our red. Heimer Digger picking up our blue right now. We have reached a point to where we can kill Yi, but not safely yet. As you can tell, we are getting quite low, and it's only due to our chomp when he goes to heal, which is a nice little move. I mean, it's a nice little finisher for Yi. I've seen so many times uh, Yi just be able to out-heal damage, and this pretty much says no to that, so... We are going to be able to turn this game around, possibly. We got our fire, our fire sword, whatever you want to call it. So our jungle clear is starting to get nice and fast. We're starting to get our gear up, get our armor up. Probably could go take Yves Blue. Because he's been taking all of our stuff. down as fast as we can. As I don't really want to deal with an angry Yi. Alright, we're going to work our way down towards middle. See if we can set a friendly team up for anything. I probably could have ran in there, but we got Yi coming in. We're going to pop our ult. Flash right in the middle of this. Keep our AV damage going nicely. Chop her. Actually, we didn't even use our flash, so we have still had it. Get a nice slow in over here. And we just have Yi left. I don't know if it's wise to be chasing him. Yaz going in hard, so we are going to do our best to protect Yaz. I'm happy to go de just defend over here. We have a nice push going in middle. We get a tower, back up. Looks like nobody lost on our side. So we are getting to a point to where we might be able to turn this game around. We are slowly catching up to the enemy in kills. Go ahead and kill Scuttles over here. We are going to do our best to try to protect this Yaz. You know what Thresh is trying to accomplish there? Gonna outrun that Nidalee sh uh, range attack. Nidalee spear. Let's apologize about earlier. He has a pretty bad plays, but if they want to pull me in there. I will start. I'll go ahead and start disengage right there. Pop our ult again. Delete that fresh. Unfortunately, we aren't going to be able to go because he had a really nice ult. Out a tower for them to retreat to. Get in here. Yes, we can get deleted. Take down one more. And we're just going to be happy to grab this and hit. Get that pressure going. There is no reason for us to be staying. Just going to chase them off. Here, grab some gold. Oh, I accidentally locked my screen. So uh oh. Shall be. Shoot. I do 
not like playing with a lock screen. Uh, why is it not unlocking? See if somebody can help me. I thought it was Y, but apparently not. Hmm. Interesting. Great. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and work actually on a Warmog, get our health pool up that much higher. Not sure. Okay, it's working now. The team did kill that Cloud Drake while we were three. There's our pathetic over here. But I am just not familiar. I can play with block three. We get in here. Beautiful engage. That AoE damage going everywhere. I'm gonna slow down the Lucid. is going to go down. Double. Don't really want to go under tower with... The, ah, actually, we have the health. One more hit and we could have fight him. We got it. Or not. Holy crap. There we go, team. An enemy has been slain. Friendly team should be pushing down to towers. Honestly, he did good by just biding, buying his team time. We really didn't accomplish anything with that last engagement. And we are catching up in kill. Go ahead and sell that. If you notice, I didn't complete on volley the um, the potions, the jungle potions. He doesn't seem to need it. I don't know. I usually complete it on all my junglers, but I don't feel the need as the game goes on. He just has so much sustain in a jungle. His fear that the two potions seem to be enough. And we did have a rough game, but it looks like we are turning it around. Enemy team meeting up in middle for some reason. They keep trying the same thing. I don't know why we want to go after Yi. I think we should go after... Yes. Yes, it's getting red. I don't know why I followed Sona in there. Probably should have waited for Yes. Where is our Yes? He died to eat. An enemy has been shut down. Haste. That is one of the problems when you're the tank. You either can watch people die and not go in there. And this is gonna be quite the push now. But um or I have this habit of trying to be the hero and try to keep people alive. While we did do a lot of damage, we didn't do enough. We should be able to make something happen here. Uh, we need the whole team. Oh boy, are we gonna chase this? Looks like we're gonna chase this. We do 
have Yaz here, so. Avoid that kick. Thank you, team. I really did not want to engage that. As fate decrees. Oh, it's definitely still anyone's game. Pick up our blue, just get that cooldown reduction going. Yeah, I'm still tearing us a new one. They do take him down. Should have gotten out of there faster. Where's his damage coming from? Basic attacks. Ah, Challenger Smite. He does more damage to you. Okay, that makes more sense. Didn't even think about that. Uh, way Challenger Smite works is uh, they do more damage to you, you do less damage to them. Uh, that's actually really good on him. I just thought about that. They can quite the assassin. Love to get my Warhog. We're getting there. Why did I build two Ninja Tabbies? Oh my god. Do not! Oh boy. I guess I was trying to be... Well, I do have four legs sometimes. Um... Yeah, I've gone without sleep for a little bit, so... That being quite hilarious. Team running. Okay, we need to come right in here, kill this in here. Only two alive, don't know why we want it back. We do have Warmogs healing us up nicely. We need to either get dragons, we need to get objectives, we need to push. Right here, let our Warmogs activate. There we go, team. Warmogs is filling up our health pool. Come right in here. Get rid of this turret, no problem. Just gonna start putting our team where it needs to be. Yeah, I guess we could. We probably could Baron even. Rampage. A Baron kill would not be bad right now. is way overextended. Oh, 
nice team fight going on over here. We are going to be able to make it in. Okay, forcing the flash. Fine. They want to stop the Baron, but they're not going to be able to. See the enemy team. While ye is oh. we're going in. Lucian does go down. We are gonna be able to get our toss, and that should be a dead fresh. Popped our ult to get that little bit extra damage. kill on Camilla right here. An enemy has been Toss her in the middle of the team. She's gonna melt. By E. And that's gonna be game. Sorry it was so rough early on, folks, but... That is going to do it for us. Take a moment to look at the score screen. Alright. We died way too many times. We got a B. Our assists were fantastic. Our kills were alright. Our income was pretty bad. Not bad for a tank, the damage. Alright everyone, my name's Kirby Mine. This has been Volley Bear in the Jungle. I'll see y'all in the next episode. Take care now.